Hi, Kurt Sinclair here with Illinois 4-H. Today we're going to do a quick how-to video to put a basic two-bladed spinner bait together. Um, I want to just quickly go through the parts. This is kind of the the chassis or the the wire frame main body of the lure. Um, next thing we're going to do is put the clevis, which is a U-shaped piece of wire with a couple of holes in it that we can put over the, the wire body. We're going to put it through the Colorado blade, which is the rounder blade. We're going to put the willow leaf blade, which is uh, shaped like a willow leaf, onto the end of the swivel. Put the swivel um, on the end of here with some bead spacers. It doesn't take very long. So let's get with it, and I think that you'll find this is one of the most handy, uh, versatile fish bass fishing baits that you can start fishing with. All right, so let's go ahead and take the clevis and put it through the Colorado blade. All right, I'll pick that up. Okay. Try to keep it in front of the camera. Okay, now we're going to put that clevis through the wire like that. Notice that I have the Colorado blade that's got a concave and convex or a hump. The hump side goes up, okay, for best results. Next, we're going to put on three or four beads. I have them over here on a paper plate so they don't run away on me. And what these do is they add some flash, some color, uh, but more importantly, they're a spacer. Okay, I've threaded my three or four beads onto the wire shaft above the clevis. Next, we're going to prepare our willow leaf blade to go on the end. A regular snap swivel will work, work fine. Put the Colorado, or the, I'm sorry, the willow leaf blade onto the snap swivel. Doesn't matter what direction. Close the snap. Okay. Now here's probably the trickiest part of building one of these. You have to bend the wire on the end and if you get a fine pair of needle nose pliers that have the most round tip to them that you can get, not big, not real big pliers that have a big flat nose, but try to get round pliers because right here is key. You're going to want to roll the end of this wire down and you also want to try to line it up so that the roll is in line with the hook. That's really the hardest part of this. Put the swivel on the end before we finish that and then roll that tight. That's really the hardest part is rolling that wire right there with some good needle nose pliers. Last thing we need to do is dress it up with a skirt. Skirts can come in many colors. This would mimic color of a bait fish like a shad. And you see it's got a rubber band in the center of a silicone skirt. Go down into the center of that little tight rubber band Thread it all the way up, put that rubber band over that lead-headed collar right there. Shove it up on there. Okay. Where you would tie this lure on is here. This is where your line gets tied on with your knot to your fishing line. This, you can see that the Colorado blade won't slide up and make contact with the willow leaf blade because you've got these spacers here that'll keep it from sliding up. What this does 
is these two spin. The spinning blades have different frequencies of sound waves that go through the water. This would give a higher frequency sound wave. This would give a lower frequency, like a thumping type of a noise compared to that one. And know that those blades come in all sizes. So really, a big thump from a big Colorado blade, a lot of times guys will make these just have one Colorado blade up here and fish this in muddy water where the fish can't see very well. But that big thump will tell the fish where this bait is at. But this would be in a little bit clearer water where these would look like a school of bait fish. Okay? A very versatile bait, the spinner bait. This is Kurt Sinclair with Illinois 4-H. I'll see you outside.